overview of lease accounting. So Oracle Fusion Lease Accounting Cloud has got many great features which simplifies the lease management. To start with, Oracle Lease Accounting is a financial application that helps create and maintain leases in a single repository. So within one application, you can have n number of leases defined and maintained. Okay. And you can search those leases and you can execute payments for those leases or one or more leases and you can basically play around and maintain your leases in one single repository so i'm going to show you in a short while in fusion lease accounting cloud how that looks like the second point is lease accounting covers both expense and revenue lease creation for example expense lease could be a rental lease so in expense lease you basically rent out a property from a supplier and uh, the rental terms and conditions will be a part of the lease and basically the supplier generates the invoices and send it over to you or alternatively based on the agreement with the supplier you can generate the invoices and post it online for supplier to view and then you can release the payment every month to the supplier and supplier will be able to view those payments online anytime okay so basically that uh, includes an integration with oracle fusion lease accounting cloud wherein the lease will be uh, defined and maintained and then the lease payment schedule will also be maintained there and this payment schedule every month will generate the invoice as an example if the payment is every month for the rent discussed and agreed and for that invoice it will be integrated with the oracle fusion uh, payables cloud to have it created out there and then further integration you can have uh, fusion supplier portal within supplier can log in and view those invoices and once you process the payment against those invoices supplier will be able to see those payments as well okay so in this case the invoices you are generating as a person who is renting the property from the supplier so such leases are called as expense leases so this is expense lease for a property so you can also define expense lease for an equipment equipment in the sense for example you can rent an equipment such as a forklift or maybe a maybe a tipper truck from a supplier for that you will make the payment maybe weekly or monthly so for that uh, the payment schedule all terms and conditions will be defined in the lease definition and that will be integrated with oracle papers to generate the invoices process payments and it will be further integrated with uh, supplier portal to get the supplier view those invoices and associated payments then this entire process will be integrated with the general ledger as well so that the sub ledger accounting that gets created that gets created in fusion lease accounting payables will get transferred to general ledger and consolidated out there for monthly close purposes so these were examples of expense lease so expense lease for property and expense lease for equipment so just like expense lease you can also define revenue lease so revenue lease means instead of renting the property you are giving a property on rent to a customer so for that property you will receive the rent from the customer so that is an example of a revenue lease so revenue lease the invoices will be generated in oracle receivables for the customer to pay and once payment gets processed that will be reflected in uh, receivables okay and the accounting of this lease in uh, lease accounting cloud as well as oracle receivables 
will flow to John Ledger for further consolidation and month and close. Okay, so that is an example of revenue lease for a property. You can also have revenue lease for a equipment wherein you're leasing an equipment to a third party like a customer so just like the example i've given for expense lease for equipment the reverse of that is revenue lease for equipment okay so these are uh, examples of uh, leases that can be processed in lease accounting cloud now the when we come to lease accounting it basically provides the ability to capture information as a part of the lease definition which includes the lease details assets so the assets that you are going to rent from a supplier or the assets that you are renting it out to a customer then the payments and the associated payment schedule and any other options that includes for example if you are renting a property then what about the rent for the parking or uh, maybe the outside maintenance of that property expense so all those can be captured as a part of options so calculation of accounting schedule creation of milestone rights and obligations are also available so these are optional information but you can capture that as well as a part of the lease definition then once you define all these details as a part of a lease definition then you run the validation process which ensures the quality of the data before activation so it validates everything to ensure that all the data is correct and nothing is missing the amortization engine calculates the present value of the leases so any point of time you want to know what's the present value of the lease then it calculates that and show you as a part of amortization engine so i'm going to go into oracle fusion lease account cloud i'm going to show you that and you have got another point out here a related point pertaining to amortization so lease accounting also calculates the amortization of the right of use and the lease liability balances according to ifrs 16 and asc 842 accounting standards for expense leases so these accounting standards are fairly new introduced a couple of years ago to ensure the companies adhere to these standards and basically it ensures that the present value of lease can be calculated any time okay so that's one of the features of these uh, accounting standards but there are more to that we can discuss as a part of this course so anyway i'm going to jump on to fusion lease accounting cloud and we'll understand all these points out there in the gui so just logged in into fusion lease accounting cloud and logged in as fanta jabara who is the administrator of the leases so you can call it as a lease administrator and you can see about the application so we are on release 13 with a version of 25 c okay now in order to go into fusion lease accounting you've got to go from the dashboard and look for lease accounting yeah over here so click on that and go to leases okay and now here you can search the leases so give the business unit choose that and then lease type as an example expense lease and then lease you can also give a legal entity over here if you like. Select that. And asset type is a property lease. Okay. And then you hit the search button. And hopefully you will get several previously defined leases over here along with their status. Okay, so as you could see, the first three leases are active leases. Okay, and if you want to have a look at those leases, you can click on this particular hyperlink for lease number and it'll open a form which will contain all the information of this 
particular lease. So if I go back to the presentation, as you can see here, you can uh, define both expense and revenue leases, and uh, then it uh, details that lease accounting provides the ability to capture information such as lease details, assets, payment, and options. So I'm going to go back. So as you could see, this is a lease type which is called as an expense lease. Okay, and and this is defined for a legal entity, U.S. primary ledger, uh, U.S. one legal entity, and a ledger is U.S. primary ledger. And here, you, as you could see, you can give a lease name. You can give the party name to from whom you are leasing. So the party is Advance Corp. And whether it's a property lease or an expense lease. So here you can see asset type is a property lease. Okay and options classes is a lease level you can see the lease term which is given over here right and start date end date given amortization details given and you can see the assets in other words what assets are you leasing from this particular party and you basically leasing this asset here's the number and the details of that asset is given below okay so uh, what is the location of this property it is given over here and the address is here okay and then you can see here you can define the payments so basically what will be the payments whether it is a monthly payment so for example base rent so base rent what is the frequency it's a monthly one right and if you go on to the below details it will show you what is going to be the base rent okay as you could see the amount is three thousand us dollar per month for a period of 60 months all right and then what other uh, payment goes along with this lease for example tenant allowance or cm charges so what is the frequency of that so cm charges are monthly whereas tenant allowance is a one-time payment you know, all these details you can define over here okay and then you can define options with this so uh, i will explain you what options so, uh, options could be like uh, for example uh, parking and uh, maintenance these are other options that goes in rights and obligations that you can de define what rights you have for example how many area would you occupy do you have right to sublease it that is as an example obligation is do you have to you must pay electricity every month uh, the consumed electricity of the premises that you or your company is leasing from the supplier so you must pay for that and milestones for example you can define milestones such as at the end of one year it is a milestone uh, and the rent could be increased after one year or maybe after three years period okay and then you have this validation validation means once you validate a lease then it will here it will show you the results of the validation okay as you could see there is some error over here it is showing you must fix this error before proceeding further and here goes the schedule so this is like a payment schedule you can see here you have the payment schedules and as you could see here what's the payment number the period payment type and uh, who is the supplier supplier site currency amount okay and on which date this uh, payment is due the date is given over here okay likewise you've got several other details captured over here if you scroll on the right hand side you will see those information okay so whether that payment has been approved or not or in draft status so initially when you create a payment schedule the payment will be in draft status and you've got to approve it once you approve it then the payment will be flown uh, in the form of an invoice in payables module and which is where you can process the invoice and make payment to the supplier okay and here you can see export status means whether it is exported to payables modules or not so here you see uh, interface interface and if not interface then what's the problem like an error okay and what is the invoice number so invoice number of uh, this uh, 
this particular payment in payables. So it is via internal integration within Fusion Cloud between lease accounting and Fusion Payables module. So invoice amount, adjusted or reversed, and amount type is it? All these details are captured over here. Okay, so that's another feature of lease accounting. And then you have attachment, any attachments you, you know, that you want to attach it to this particular lease. For example, the signed copy of the lease, you can attach it over here. And any history which includes any changes, approvals, and so on will be captured over here. So I'm going to quickly go back to the PowerPoint presentation. So I guess I have explained you all these things, the lease validation process and amortization engine. And you see here, you've got the lease accounting also calculates the amortization of the right of use and the lease liability balances according to IFRS 16 and ASC 842 for expense leases. So if I go back to the schedule tab of the lease, here you can see, you have seen payment schedule. If you change it, you see something like accrued expenses. And here you can see some more details of this lease, including amortization. Okay, can you see that? Okay, and here you can see on this uh, this record is of what type, whether uh, it's ASC 842 accounting standard or IFRS 516 standard. So, so this is one of the required feature that is also incorporated as a part of Fusion Lease Accounting Cloud. And I assume that you know more about uh, these accounting standards as if as i assume that you are a finance professional or have got some sort of finance background as a part of your professional work experience so i'm going to go back to the powerpoint presentation we'll cover the remaining topics so i'm going to go to the next slide and here you see the new accounting standards introduced in past few years have transformed accounting rules that lessees must follow to comply Lease accounting has the following features in relation to this. It will basically help you manage and process leases to comply with IFRS 16 and ASC 842 or both these accounting standards in a touch free and seamless manner. And that's what I have just shown you. Those amortization schedule gets generated automatically uh, as a part of your lease. Then to improve planning with a single repository of all these lease obligations so all the leases you can have it in one place and then you can you can integrate with uh, oracle uh, uh, business intelligence or reporting part of fusion wherein you can also go further and understand what's going on in your organization as a part of the leases if it's a very huge organization you would know what leases are there in terms of expense and revenue what leases are uh, generating uh, how much of revenue and you can see where your uh, money is flowing out and how your money is planning uh, coming in in relation to these leases and basically uh, that will finally helps you uh, to generate the calculation for balance sheet and expenses in fact the system do it automatically as a part of fusion lease accounting cloud 